Hey everybody, this is Pastor Michael of Ascension Lutheran Church in Torrance, California. It's time for a midweek boost. I first want to thank everybody for your prayers and your support while I was going through the cancer treatment. And uh, God willing, it's behind me. Um, I'm thankful that I'm here and can uh, share the love of Jesus with you again. Last week, I talked about suffering and how God uses suffering in our lives. And this coming week, the Old Testament lesson uh, comes to us from Job. And nobody knows suffering like Job knows suffering. Well, in, in the story of Job, Job has four friends that speak to him. And three of them take up a large chunk of the book of Job. And honestly, they don't help they don't help Job at all. In fact, God ultimately uh, condemns them for the things that they had to say. Um, but there is a man named Elihu. He's the youngest of all Job's friends. And he stays quiet for most of the conversation until finally he, he's kind of had enough and he has to speak up. And he lets them know that he doesn't agree with anything that they've had to say. And, of course, God doesn't either. But he tells Job that there are, there are several ways in which God uses suffering. Uh, and that he allows people to suffer, even, even the righteous, like Job. That no, nobody is, is sinless. That righteousness comes from God. He, he's truly speaking the gospel here. We understand our righteousness is not, not our own, but it's God uh, providing our righteousness through Jesus Christ. We are righteous not because of any good works of our own, but because we are in Christ Jesus, who is righteous. And he says that God allows suffering for even those who are righteous in God for several reasons. And, and the last one that he points out is the one that I want to talk about. He says that God sometimes allows us to suffer in order that we might comprehend his revelation. In other words, it it takes suffering to really understand the depth of God's wisdom. I think all of us have wise friends, people who've experienced life. And I will tell you that almost always, if not always, there are people who have suffered greatly in life. That's where their humility has come from. And, and it takes humility to, to be prepared for what God has to say to us. And it's often through suffering that we are f given insight into God's will and his ways for our life. And so... While none of us desire to suffer, and we don't wish it upon ourselves, God does allow it, but he allows it for purposes. And sometimes that purpose is so that you can understand God all the more. Have a great night, everybody.